Hey guys, Alex here with Armadillo Armament. Today, we are taking a look at the Holosun LS420, a four-in-one lamb made by Holosun. So, what is a lamb? Well, a lamb stands for laser aiming module. It's a lot easier to say than saying laser aiming module every time. And the four-in-one functionality with this device comes in the fact that it has both a visible laser, a IR laser and IR illuminator, and then finally a white light like shown here. And that makes this quite a interesting unit. Now, this was originally given to me from Holosun because, well, they lost a slide of mine and they offered to either get me a new, basically, package or they could send me a unit. I was using the LS321G, which I do have a review on my channel. I recommend you take a look at for more information. But the LS420 really is a LS321G, but with a white light stapled onto it. Now, this does position itself really interestingly in the market, and that is because if you are saving the weight of a white light or you're just including it all in one package, it creates a much smaller form factor than, of course, a white light and flashlight or a white light and laser aiming package, um, as well as you are going to be saving a lot of weight. And a lot of weapons do have a issue with rail real estate. Think of something like an MP7. It can be a little cramped to get both a laser aiming module and a flashlight on top of an MP7 or something like a uh, MP9, right? A TMP. And that is where a unit like this really comes into play. Now, this does have a visible high. It has the it is a civilian class laser, so it does have a weapon light high, low, IR high, IR low, as well as, of course, a laser for aiming with your night vision. That's going to be a much greater conversation in the future. We're mostly just going to be highlighting this product. Um, it does have this little adjuster back here, which is how you are going to adjust the size of your illuminator. Not the strength, but basically the cone. Instead of making a very tight cone, it is going to increase the cone for something like more of a uh, better CQB effect, right? You want a wider cone uh, when you are not trying to really pinpoint it down to a almost a laser at 50 yards, 100 yards. Now, this is a civilian class laser, so it definitely is a little bit anemic compared to uh, many other lasers on the market, full power, PEC 15s, and gray market laser options, even something compared to the new V cell lasers that are coming out. Holosun just created their Iris series, which is very much replacing this, which is why this is going to be such a quick review. The iris uses what is called a V-cell laser rather than a traditional LED laser, and that makes it so the illuminator is significantly better. I'll put pictures on the screen right now. However, I still have had pretty good experiences with this laser, and I do still think this may potentially have a spot in the market as a very good budget option, because Holosun is creating their iris 4, which is a 4-in-1 laser. I'll put a picture on the screen now. This is basically an Iris 4, but a little bit gimped. It's not going to have as good as a illuminator quality, laser quality, and it's also going to be much heavier. This does clock in at almost 11 ounces with batteries in it. That is pretty substantial. I have this on the front of my MCX, and let me tell you, it is, it is quite the heavy little guy. Now, the Iris is significantly uh, less heavy, as well as a lot of other laser aiming modules are a lot smaller, whereas this is a fairly bulky design, once again, because it is a four-in-one, but a lot of lasers really have definitely improved on the design. That being said, if you can find one of these for very cheap, I still recommend you pick one up. I'm actually going to be selling this one, but many people out there are going to be offloading these for, I can only assume, $400, $500, and a Iris 4 is looking to be, I have to assume, about $1,000, and this does just about everything the Iris 4 is going to do, just a little bit worse. Now, taking a look at the controls, this is going to be how you replace your battery. These are, um, this is held in place with, of course, this little rubber piece. And these rubber pieces also cover the holes for something like the tape switch, as an example. Uh, to the right of that, we have the controls. We have the weapon light, visible light, weapon light, visible laser, IR uh, light, the off setting which is very important. You want to keep your laser in off at all times because it will have like parasitic drain otherwise. Uh, the visible high, the illuminator light, the IR high plus illuminator, the weapon light and visible high, and then lastly, the IR high. So it does have a pretty robust uh, suite of options and the visible laser is co-aligned with the IR laser. Therefore, you don't need to zero this at night. You are able to zero during the day. The button is pretty tactile, right? Uh, it's an off right now, actually, but 
The button is fairly tactile. If I press it down, hopefully you can hear it. It feels pretty good. Um, my only real complaint about the LS420, and this really is probably my largest complaint besides the weight and the form factor, which isn't that big of a deal, is just the fact that when it is on a rifle, you do need to reach over to the right side, which can prove a little bit difficult depending on your rail and depending on your weapons platform. I do wish it was more centered or on the left, like the LS321. I think the 321 is definitely a better laser if you are just looking for a laser and you already have a light attached to your firearm. But... That's about all you need to know. Uh, zeroing is great. Uh, it's 0.5 MOA clicks. This QD lever is pretty good. I've seen people complain about hollow send QD letters. I don't really find that to be the case. I think they are pretty adequate. And then uh, it does just turn out to be quite a good laser. I have at least 5,000 rounds through this. Um, this is a new one, but I have about 5,000 rounds through this and I really haven't seen any issues with accuracy or breaking down because these are of course made in China. A lot of people think they are going to break. I haven't really seen that to be the case. Um, this definitely does seem to be a pretty robust design. And I think if you can get one of these for four or $500, it can definitely be worth your time. Um, with that being said, I am gonna have more reviews of the Iris devices and more laser aiming modules in the future. Before we round up this video, I wanna show you guys what comes in the box. When you buy the LS420, it's going to come in a really cool briefcase military nuke box. Open that up. And you're going to have your manuals, a hollow sun card, and then here is the tape switch. The tape switch is actually fairly okay. It does take up a lot of real estate, but it is a pretty good tape switch. Pretty tactile and it connects to the back of the device. And then Lastly, over here, we have a very interesting feature that I forgot to highlight, and that is going to be that it does accept red dots up here. So if you are looking to put this on something like an AK, you can actually mount a red dot with these mounting holes right here, and then this plate system. So that is a very unique feature. Um, once again, if you want to put this on something like an MP7, you really could have the laser aiming module and then a RMR or a T2 up here and have your entire optic, uh, your entire optic system, as well as white light, illuminator, visible laser, everything be a small box. And I think that's a very interesting concept. And I hope Hollow Sun continues to improve on it with something like the Iris 4. Now, once again, I do only recommend you pick this up based off of uh, the price you can get it at, right? If you can get a Iris 4, those do seem to be pretty solid. I don't have time on them yet. But if you can get an Iris 3 or an Iris 4, I would obviously recommend getting that. But if you are trying to really get lasers on a budget, the LS321 and the LS420 definitely still make sense even today. All right, so really quick video. Comment down below your thoughts on the LS420 and the LS321. Tell me if you're excited about the new Iris lasers. And it's been a pleasure, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one.